Hi guys. Peeling outer layer from these big big trees is my favorite pastime. And remember in the last session I told you about this majestic tree which has been buddy to me and my family since long long time. Now guys, we discussed that trees become so hardy and sturdy because of the secondary growth. And we talked that secondary vascular tissues are formed during the process of secondary growth by the activity of vascular cambium which causes increase in the thickness of the trees. But guys, increase in girth of plant is not alone sufficient. There has to be some mechanism to protect the plant from outside. So protective coverings have to be formed on the outer parts of the plant. And guys, this function is brought about by another secondary meristem which is formed in the cortex region of the tree. Yes guys, this secondary meristem which is formed in the cortex regions of tree is called cor cambium and it also plays a very important role during the process of secondary growth. Now what is the role that the cor cambium plays? Well, this is what we will find out in this session. Cor cambium is also known as phalogen and phalogen basically prevents the outer parts of the tree from infection. Because as the plant is increasing in the thickness, the outer tissues are being ruptured and it is important for them to be protected against infection. But how exactly phalogen achieves this? Well, let's try and understand. So guys, the phalogen cells just like the vascular cambium cells also divide and they divide again on the outer side as well as on the inner side. So they divide and form secondary tissues just like vascular cambium both on outer side and inner side. Now, inner side of the phalogen, when it divides and forms tissues on the inner side of the phalogen, then those secondary tissues are usually parenchymatous or they are cholenchymatous. And they are called secondary cortex or phalloderm. While if the phalogen forms tissues on the outer side, then those tissues which are formed on the outer side of phalogen are called cork or phalem. So, the cells of secondary cortex or phalloderm are living while the cells of cork consist of dead and compactly arranged rectangular cells. So the cork cells are dead cells. And guys, the walls of the cork cells are suberized. Now, they also contain tannins in them. Because of the presence of tannins, the cork cells are brown or dark brown in color. And because of the presence of suberin in their walls, they are impermeable to water and gases. Now, automatically, this makes cork very useful in preventing water loss from the plants. Another function of cork cells or phalem cells can be to prevent infection. Yes, the cork cells being the dead cells also prevent the interior of the tree from bacterial and fungal infection and also mechanical injury. So guys, cork is a light, non-compressible, sufficiently resistant to fire material. And because of these properties, it is used commercially to make stoppers of bottles and as shock absorbers and insulators. Friends, the phalogen or the cork cambium, the phalem or the cork, and the phalloderm or the secondary cortex together make what is known as periderm. Yes, these three tissues together combine to form periderm. Periderm is actually secondary dermal tissue that replaces the epidermis in older stems and roots and provide the function of protection to the outer parts of the tree. So guys, we know that the phalogen cells divide to form cork on the outer sides. Now, at some regions, the phalogen cuts off a mass of parenchymatous cells on the outer side. So instead of cork cells, they form a mass of parenchymatous cells on the outside. Now, this mass of parenchymatous cells soon ruptures the epidermis of the stem and thus they form a lens-shaped aerating pore. 
Now these lens shaped aerating pores which are formed in the stem are called lenticels. Now guys, the lenticels are filled with mass of loosely arranged superized cells which are called complementary cells. The function of lenticels in a stem is exchange of gases between the outer atmosphere and the internal tissues of the stem. So, the lenticels are also formed by the activity of phylogen on the outer side and they are basically pores in the stem for gas exchange. In case of temperate regions, the lenticels usually get closed during the winter season. So, the core cambium during the process of secondary growth makes the secondary dermal tissues which protect the plant. Now here you must be thinking that I have talked pretty much everything about secondary growth of the giant trees. But there is one thing about which I have not even uttered a word and is usually associated with the hardy and sturdy trees. What is that? Yes, the bark of the tree. So guys, remember I said I love peeling off the outer layer of the big big trees? Yes, the outer layer which is easily peeled off is called bark in common language. But guys, what we are actually peeling off is the outer bark. The outer bark is made of dead cells and these dead cells are basically those cells which lie outside the phylogen. But there is something called inner bark. And inner bark is made of living tissues of secondary phloem. So we can say that bark is actually made of tissues which lie outside the wood or xylem. So all the tissues which lie outside the wood or xylem are called bark collectively. So a bark is made of bark, corcambium, phelloderm and also secondary phloem. And with bark, we have discussed everything about the process of secondary growth which a plant undergoes to become the giant majestic woody trees. Now here guys, aren't you wondering that what is the significance of secondary growth in a plant? Well, I know you will tell me that I have already told in previous session that secondary growth provides support to the trees and also help in formation of new vascular tissues for more transport. And this is absolutely true guys. Yes, of course, the secondary growth is important for a plant to provide support to the woody plant and also to provide new vascular tissues for long distance transport. But there are other significances which are attached to the process of secondary growth, which are the process of secondary growth helps in providing protection to the inner tissues against abrasion, heat, cold and also infection. So the second function of secondary growth is protection to the inner tissues. And there is one more function. Yes, the commercially important products that we obtain because of secondary growth. So secondary growth helps in obtaining commercially important products like cork and wood from the tree. And now guys, with the significances, we officially conclude our session on secondary growth. And we are confident now that we know that elongation of the stem and the roots is the primary growth which is not sufficient for a plant when it becomes woody and therefore the trunk of the tree owes its increase in girth to the process of secondary growth which is brought about by vascular cambium and cork cambium. And let us now quickly summarize our session on the role of cork cambium with this summary. Cork cambium or phylogen is the secondary meristem which forms secondary tissues to prevent outer parts of the stem from infection during secondary growth. Phylogen cells divide on both outer sides as well as inner sides to form secondary tissues. The secondary tissue produced by phylogen on the inner side is secondary cortex or phelloderm and is usually parenchymatous or colenchymatous. The secondary tissue produced on the outer side by phylogen is called cork or phelim. The cork consists of dead and compactly arranged rectangular cells that possess superized cell walls and contain tannins. Cork cells prevent water loss from plants and also protects the interior of plant against bacterial and fungal infections and mechanical injury.
The cork is used commercially in stoppers for bottles as insulators and as shock absorbers. Phalogen or cork cambium, phalem or cork and phaloderm or secondary cortex are collectively called periderm which serves the function of protection. Lenticels are lens-shaped aerating pores formed by parenchymatous cells that are cut off by phalogen in certain regions of stem. The lenticels help in exchange of gases. The bark comprises all the tissues outside the wood or xylem and is made of cork cambium, cork, phalloderm and secondary phloem.